Hi Pisces, this is Marcy and my child Shalika. Let's see what is your situation as of now and what you need to hear from me. Pisces out there, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What do you need to hear from me right now? Just one more time. Alright, Pisces out there. Your first card is this one. Ten of Swords. I want to say someone might have felt betrayed. Okay, someone might feel like uh, they have been stabbed in the back. And this could have been like repetitive. It wasn't just once, twice or thrice, it could have been repetitive. You are being stabbed in the back. This has already happened with the tower. Tower has already happened. And you're still stuck there. With the tower not falling uh, upright or in reverse, it's just like this. You're still stuck in the in the aftermath. You haven't moved on. You're still lying dead. Okay, you hadn't processed this. What has happened to you? What they did to you? Ooh, how blunt is your reading? How blunt is your reading? Three of swords. Someone stabbed you in the heart. You're still hurting, you're still bleeding out. It has already happened, but yet you haven't moved on. Because you're still stuck in that tower moment. You're processing it. You're trying to heal from this, but uh, I feel like you're still laying dead. Okay, you're still laying dead over there. You just don't have the strength to get up. You don't have the strength to heal yet. Okay? Okay, moving on. Some of you might be dealing with a Libra, a Gemini. That's it. Pisces out there. That's a very, very brutal start. Pisces out there. What else? Your next card is this one. Speaks about, uh, it's a moon card. Speaks about deception. Things um, unseen. Yeah, it, it's uncertainty. Things happening behind your back. Hmm? But then, they're asking you to be Practical about the situation. You need to think like the King of Swords. You need to be the King of Swords. Someone who is very straightforward, who knows uh, what needs to be done, who knows they should do the right thing. Okay? I understand you are in a very sad state right now. Okay? People have done you wrong. You are the victim here. I cannot be harsh to you right now. I get it. But then, when that tower fell out, what do you say? Horizontal? Okay? Not vertical. It's, it's not upright or reverse. It fell out in uh, a, horizontal, a horizontal side. So it, it's trying to say you're still stuck in something which has happened like in the past. You're just not willing to give up and move on. You're still just mulling in there. And that is not right. Okay? So you need to come through as the King of Swords who needs to do what is right for yourself. Above everybody, everything else, okay? This person does everything which is right for others. But then I want to say you have to do what is right for you. Okay? Prioritize yourself before anybody else. It's not okay to be in that state anymore. Because the pool card is asking you to take the leap of faith. You might feel like your life is over. Not really. You can revive from this. You can heal from this. Okay? You can start over again. 
You feel like you just don't know where you're going. There is no future for you. It, it's uncertain, so you're not going to even try. But then they're asking you to take the chance. Jump off the cliff. Yeah, you might end up on a cotton bed. Who knows? You might break a, a couple of limbs, but then you need to take the chance and see what is out there. It's much better than lying dead and giving up on your life. Hmm? All right, I'm going to pull you another card. Pisces, what else? You know, there is so much conflicts. I don't know whether it's around you or up here. You conflicted or you are uh, not on the same page as the people around you or the person whom you're dealing with. Some of you might be dealing with a Sagittarius energy. Sorry, um, a Leo energy. Your next card is this one. Yes, I, I feel this. You are not willing to let go. This is a center card in your reading. You're just hanging on to this. You know, you're just not willing to release yourself from this situation. That's why I feel the victim, victim mode. You are comfortable in this victim mode, which is not healthy for you. Hmm? You can say, Marishi, you cannot be harsh to me right now because I have gone through a lot. You won't understand. I do understand. But the thing is, it is not okay for you to be in that situation for more than, you know, you, you are grieving. Okay what these people have done to you, you are still in that. But that time has passed. I'm just thinking about something um, which is coming through. You know, if a relative of yours or somebody who's very close, to, just, just an example, okay, uh, has passed away in the Muslim culture. I'm not a Muslim, I'm a Hindu. Uh, but in the Muslim culture, if someone has passed away, you have only three days to mourn them. You're in grief because you've lost someone very close. But you have only three days to grieve them. And that is it. You have to move on with your life. And that is what is coming through for you. You have mourned enough and more than you should. For what you have lost, what people have done to you. Now, you cannot hold on to this anymore. There is no excuse for you to hold on to this anymore. For your own sake. That is why we have the King of Swords who is asking you to take the leap of faith. To let go of this. Okay, it's dead. It's dead. Let it be dead. And move on with your life. Okay. Alright, some of you might be dealing with a Capricorn. It's just, uh, you lose your sleep on something which has died out like years ago. Is it even worth it? Why can't you just, I, I understand you're hurting, okay? You're hurting within and you're keeping it close. It feels good to nurture the pain. But it's actually toxic for you. I should have been a shrink from the way that reading is coming through. All right. It's asking you to let go. It's about time. Okay. Some of you might be dealing with a Gemini person or probably a Capricorn. You're stressed out. You're losing your sleep. You're very anxious. Still thinking about what has happened. Not worth it. Really not worth it. Yes. Ten of Cups, think about the happy times. Think about the future. Think about what abundance you can achieve once you take, uh, you know, take a step forward from this. Moving on. High things out there. What else? This is going to leave it out there. All right. Because I've already, see? Same. Same just what I've spoken about. You are just stuck, okay, not knowing how to release yourself out of this. 
when I showed you the four of pentacles I spoke about, there is loads in here. You have been hurt. It just confirmed with the three of swords again. It came out initially as well, the three of swords, and, sorry, the ten of swords and the three of swords. Your heart is grieving still. And you are actually nurturing this grief, this pain. Three, three days or three months. Okay, if you grieve for three months about what they have done to you, that's it. Move on. Because they are not worth it. If they have done this to you, they are not even worth it. Okay? You need to heal. It's about time for you to heal. This whole reading is like slapping your face, asking you to wake up. Your life is not over. You might hate me for saying this, but th that is how it is coming through. It is towards, I see you. I see you stuck. Okay, you cannot see past it because this person is blindfolded. This person is tied up. They have swords around her. But the thing is, the truth is, they can just remove the blind, actually remove. It's very loosely tied. They can just remove the ties, remove the blindfold and just walk out. It's easy to release them, sir, but it's just up here you're stuck. Nothing else. Nothing is stopping you. It's just you who's stopping yourself. Because you're grieving. I'm telling you, it's not an excuse anymore. Okay? Some of you might be dealing with the Libra or probably a Gemini. One last card for the Pisces out there. showing me the reason why you still focus on what has been lost because the whole reading was speaking about you cannot just let go so they're showing me the reason it was your dream or the person was your dream the person who stabbed you in the back or who betrayed you or who hurt you hurt you so badly was your dream person it was everything what you wanted that is the reason why you're still crying over spilt milk. What you've lost. You're still focused on the three cups which is spilt over. Okay. But there is two cups standing behind you which you are not even looking at. Which you're not bothered about. That is why they're asking you to come through as a king of swords and start focusing on your future. Than your past. Maybe it has helped out a couple of you. I hope it is not for all of you. I wouldn't want you to be in this place because this is not a good place to be in. Okay? That's it for now. This is Marjorie, you're my channel, Shiloka. Until next time, bye bye.